yellow, my friend. Yellow man. I, Crisco, who am I now to declare different? <laughs> Me dates Crispin to complete owning if he declares otherwise. Mary, as we play, I begin to question that man and as myself, Costello. <laughs> you need to play for the other team, wonders where my mind is. Sir! Chance to rest upon an answer or severely injure myself. Lord, help me. Methinks the fall that love said fool. Thou shouldest. Methinks in walking will hope to render clear what is muddy for Crispin as well. I hope that too. Fare thee well. Oh, you dick. <laughs> 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 oh, if friends' love should occupy my mind. I cannot keep his thoughts of love inside. Thank you. 
Clambola, I beseech thee to forgive my selfishness. Is there not some way for thee to be Nay, it is not. He is thither and I am hither. He knows not of my countenance, and I know not of his preference. I only recall he came here once upon a time, long ago, with poor Costello. I recall it almost in my dreams. So mournful am I. What sayest thou, Daphne? Sounds, I fear she is giving into her mad notions. Aye. <laughs> Hi, there's a thought entering my woman mind that surely is too clean for my gender. Hi, and yet it beholds me. What is it? Tell us. Thou wants to be courted by Crispin, or mark me wrong. Nay, tis what I desire more than anything. Then be courted by him by disguising myself as a lady. Aye, thou shalt dress as a pretty gentle woman. Then happen upon him at the royal ball tomorrow evening, whence he shall be loath to resist thee. Tis madness, but I will do it. Oh, fine. What? what? Tis Costello. I hear him coming. Prithee, let us hide down the stage for a moment. <laughs> 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 I'll get my text. <laughs> By what? Nay, I own not a cell phone. <laughs> Holla, methought thy work present to be of some assistance. Oh, uh, of course. So, how do I look? <laughs> well, methinks not of a way to get around it. Thou look like shit. <laughs> awesome. I should depart from hither, for I embarrass myself better. Thou canst not bail? Pray, why not? Because thou love this girl, right? Then a man thee be, show him what art up. How dost thou profess to do that? You know, show off thy manliness, like thy muscles and thy skills. Sporting, punting, monarchical ruling. Go in there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, what art thou hither for? Damn, she's a shrew, which we all know is synonymous for dish. <laughs> Good day, Princess Odette. I profess myself hither to see thee. If it is permissible. I suppose, if thou'st already here. And I'll take that as my cue to exit stage left. <laughs> what say we take a turn round thy lovely garden? <laughs> I cannot imagine an action more stimulating. <laughs> <laughs> thou art heavenly in appearance this day. And thou art too kind, really, my cheeks redden. Frisco <laughs> said to mention my skills, my muscles. Not too kind at all. Thou remindeth me of the beautiful lioness hunted the other day by myself. She <laughs> runneth that way. <laughs> and I came toward her. And that way. <laughs> At my disadvantage. Still, she was no match for the strike of my bow from the keen aim of my arrow. <laughs> thou hast like me to a beast be killed. Pretty, dost thou plan and employ thy bow and arrow unto me? Oh no, Princess, my meaning doth cometh across entirely wrong. Thank 
correctly in knowing the failure of this meeting earlier. Apology means nothing. Still, methinks, what can I discuss presently? My monarchical ruling skills, good God. <laughs> I apologize for my forbodiness, having behaved like a real log headed, hasty with coxcomb. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> 